Yo, what's up dudes? Ghetto Finger back again for all my late night eBay snipes. Here we go. Here's the full layout. Um, I still have two or three more boxes in route right now as well. So we'll catch up on those later on in the week. But yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes here right now. So um, from all over the place, what we'll do is we'll go one by one real quick. We'll open them up, check them out, and uh, keep it rolling. So that way this video doesn't take freaking forever. But this is it. These are all my eBay snipes. Here we go. First one out of the gate, Megan Moon hailing all the way from Kingwood, Texas. This package came from all the way from Kingwood, Texas. All right, here we go. And what do we have in this one? Warrior of Rome 2. Complete in box. Pretty nice. Definitely a one you want to check out. All right, next one up right here, guys. We got from Bloomington. All the way from Bloomington. So let's see what we got in this one. And this one is Dark Light Conflict. Pretty sweet for the Police Station 1. Another one I wanted. I'll definitely be doing a video on this. I have uh, three other games that kind of tie into this and this PlayStation 1 run here. But we'll get into that on another video. Dark Light. Alright, next one up from Elisa Hess all the way from PA, guys. This one comes all the way from PA. So let's slice into this guy here. Alright, let's get this open, guys, and see what we got in this one. This one's all the way from PA, by the way. So, Alright, some nice little packaging in there. All right, Midnight Raiders, man. I've been waiting for this one to come. I like this game a lot. So I'm going to also do a video on this. So Midnight Raiders, pretty sweet. Very happy to add this one to the collection. Woo, look at that. All right, nice, man. Let's get to the next one. All right, next out of the gate, Sean Morgan all the way from Zanesville, Ohio. Zanesville, Ohio. All right, we figured it out. We're going for a side attack on this one. Of course, look, I come back on and then... There's more, more wrappings, guys. Well, you know, I do appreciate him going the extra mile and uh, covering this up. Gonna have to be careful. I'm probably not gonna be able to pull this out of here without hurting the side prongs. So we are just gonna muscle through this together. I'll tell you right now, it's definitely 100% a Sega CD game. All right, we are in. Let's go. What could? It, oh yeah. Star Wars Rebel Assault. Another one I've had on my hunting list for quite some time. Nice look at bubble wrap in there. Keep everything secure, not jumping around. Man, super happy to have this. So this is a this is a dope game if you haven't played this. Alright, let's get on to the next one, guys. Alright, next one up right here is out of Rochester, New York. From just OG Games. But pretty cool. He put a ghetto finger on there, so put my name ghetto finger, so this is pretty neat. Maybe he found the uh, Instagram there. And lo and behold, I got in, and there's another box inside. So let's see what we got in this one. All the way from Rochester, New York, another Sega CD game. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's try to be careful. Jimmy Christmas, this guy ain't messing around right here. He is putting some care. There we go. Whoo, I was like, I'm opening a freaking treasure chest. All right, that microcosm, guys. Nice, you put that in there to keep the game safe. Super appreciative of that. This is another great game I love for the uh, Sega CD. Some people don't like this game, but I really like this game. All right, we're down to three more boxes. Let's go. All right, save us the pain on this one. I cracked it, and I realized it was also inside this other thing. So, yeah, just save us a whole bunch of time on that. Check this out. A beautiful copy of Sega Vision. From 1993, this is the August-September issue. I don't know if any of you guys out there remember some Sega Vision magazine. But I'm super, super happy to have this uh, to go on with my Nintendo Power collection. So, pretty awesome. I love these old magazines. Love having some cereal in the morning and checking these out while I'm having some cereal. Man, totally, total go back in time nostalgia. Alright guys, we'll get on to the next one. Alright guys, here we go. Next one, full of the beautiful pink peanuts. Who doesn't love pink peanuts? All right, we got two games in here. Two games. Sega, Saturn, once again. I think I can go this way and just have it out of here. All right, so here we go. I hope you guys are digging the uh, top-down view here on the, uh, on the thing. Let me go a little slow so we don't break nothing. All right, there we go, guys. 
World War. Freaking love this game. Some of these have a little bit of a bad case. It was also listed for that. But I have some replacement cases. See, this one's broke here. But so not a big deal. But yeah, so pretty awesome. This is a really fun one right here. Do definitely love that game. And we have Cliffhanger, which is kind of a, a zoinky, a zoinkster. Not really the best, uh, best game ever made, but it's still Cliffhanger. You got Sylvester Stallone hanging out there and his dun to duns saving the world. So definitely a good game for the Sega uh, CD guys. Let's get on to the last box and I think the best of it all. All right, last box. I already cut it open for you guys. Portage, Indiana. Brian Rosinski. All right, this is coming from all the way hot from eBay. Late night snipes. Um, in the last video, I made a video with the uh, stuff I got from the Fire and Ice uh, games swap. I forgot to put in the PSP I got there and a huge lot of stuff I got from it. So uh, I ended up ordering another PSP because I'm just crazy like that. I like my stuff like super minty. So anyway, I got another PSP. So let's see what we got in here. This is the game lot I got. We got some Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Declassified, Uncharted Gold, Abyss. That's an amazing game. Another good one. Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Good for this. I really, really enjoy these. These uh, Ninja Gaiden games. Ninja Gaiden. All right, let's get to the next one. And the last and final part of this. Man, you put a lot of bubble wrap on that. Look at that. Really nice of that guy to... Uh, Take the time and not send this in a bubble mailer. All right, so here we go. Here's the other PSP. Like I said, it's in a lot better shape than the one I got at the uh, at the expo over there, which is fine. I got a lot of games in a lot, so I'll get this polished off, man, and looking nice. It looks pretty good. Like I said, everything I get from uh, Flea Bay, I always clean up real good. But uh, yeah, buttons all feel great. Everything feels good, so I think we got a home run with that. All right, yep, once again, guys, thank you guys very much for uh, hanging out with me here again and going through this long video. We're at about 7 minutes and 40 seconds already. So if you made it this far, please put a skull and crossbones below because then I'll know you're a true OG. And uh, Alyssa's been here the whole time, and she wants to give off her little spiel she always gives at the end. You guys, happy gaming out there, and don't forget to like, follow, and comment.